Yeah, I'm mining. I iron. So? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, then welcome to the channel. We haven't been in here for a while. I'm going to be doing some work on a Taylor baby something or other. This little thing. Um, it has a earthing issue or grounding issue, whatever you want to call it, whatever. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to earth this guitar so it, it doesn't have any of that low end hum, which is what it's doing at the moment. Hum. Earthed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a metal plate underneath the bridge here. Uh, drill holes for it for the strings to get the pins to go through and then solder a wire from the plate to the jack socket which should solve the problem. Of course, before you do anything like this, you have to have your best cardigan on. Make sure you've got yours on if you're attempting to do this. I've got some sheet steel, which I've just picked up from B&Q. Just £5.50 for this whole sheet, so I can do quite a few guitars with this. And I'm just gonna cut it out to size. Uh, yeah, let's do it. So obviously, first things first, I'm gonna strip the strings off and everything. I'm gonna give it all a clean and we're going to do a fret polish as well and all that stuff. Um, it's had a lot of use this guitar, you can see here it's worn. Uh, we are going to order a scratch plate to go on here which will cover most of that up. Uh, it won't cover this up unfortunately, but you know, it's character, isn't it? But to stop this going any further and actually wearing through, um, we're going to get a scratch plate on there, but that can be done later. Okay, so the metal plate is going to go underneath the holes here where the strings go through. So the ball end will touch the metal plate, which creates our Faraday's cage, if you like. Um, there's not a lot of room in there, so it can only be really as big as that for me to be able to glue it in there. I'm feeling around. This has a pickup, which feels like a pickup underneath the bridge there. It's quite chunky, so... very small but it'll be enough got some snips now I need to flatten this out it's very pliable <laughs> okay, so the plate fits nicely. I can see the the steel plate through the holes. So I'm just going to mark, scratch in where I need to cut out. I say cut out, I mean drill out. Like that, just with the round file. And a lot of room in there so that looks like that so that's going to be I don't know if you can see where the holes are going to go dunk, 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 dunk. okay just going to check lining up the trick the trick is the tricky bit the tricky bit will be gluing this in and getting this in position before the super glue sets and not sticking my fingers to it. <laughs> so I'm just going to check that the ball end goes through each one. Yep, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, so I've drilled another hole, a tiny hole here. Got some wire. Just going to poke that through there, like so. Get a good connection on it, and I'm going to solder that down to make sure that it's not going to go anywhere and that it's completely connected. That end's going to connect to the earth on the jack. Feed through there, glue under there, and that gives us our ground. Okay, like an idiot, I forgot to press record on the camera, but basically what I've done is I've soldered that wire on to the plate. <clears throat> I've put uh, four dabs of super glue on the plate and I'm just gluing it in. I'm just holding it right now, just so it sets till it sets. And that's being glued in place 
Right then, all that's done. So before I restring it, I'm going to uh, fret polish these. So they're not in bad condition, really, considering. Uh, give it all a good clean. Uh, treat the fretboard, etc., and then restring it, and we'll see what it's like. Frets are now polished, fretboard's cleaned. Just going to treat it with a little bit of lemon oil, just a few dabs, like so. Work that in, man. Nice. Alrighty then, job done. The hum has been reduced by at least 90%. It is still there very slightly, but now when you touch the strings, it eliminates it completely. But it is hardly noticeable and sounds great. Okay, if you like this video, then please give it a like, comment, and subscribe. It will help me out in a big way. Yeah, I'm mining. I iron. So, if any of you guys have another way of uh, earthing an acoustic, then please do let me know. Uh, not much more left to say in this episode, except peace. Until next time, cue the jingle. like and comment and get involved if you dig my vibe then hit subscribe and never miss an episode of my youtube show
Peace. Till next time.